Hey guys, beautiful fall day. September 30th. You're looking at some quinoa that's maturing quite nicely. Not ready to be harvested. Still maturing. You want to wait until these seed heads start to turn brown, so we're a couple weeks out. And when we get there, we'll show you how to uh, harvest and seed save the quinoa. Also, it's the first year we had a edible sunflower that didn't get eaten by animals or birds and it's developing seeds so we'll show you how easy it is to harvest sunflowers at the same time we do the quinoa look at this quinoa gorgeous red but I wanted to show you a little bit about seed saving brassicas that's your kale Broccoli, cauliflower, mustard. They all have the same type of seed. And then we're going to end with uh, harvesting some Jerusalem artichokes. So this is the area Leah and I were at where we were harvesting onion heads. You can see this one's ready to go. Millions of seeds in there. Big black things are the seeds. But, we want to talk about brassicas, which we're looking at here. So typically they come up and they form uh, these little pods. Every, different bra every brassica is a little different, but they form these pods and each one of the linear pods here, when you break it open, contains up to 10 seeds. So we're going to show you how to do that quickly. And so after the pods have dried, you're going to harvest a bunch of them and put them in a container or a bucket, just like I've done there. Let me get a couple more. This is pretty, these are some old seeds, so a lot of them are missing. And you can see, if I just break these up quickly, they're so brittle. I'm just going to take some of this chaff out. You're going to see how many seeds quickly emerge in here. See all those mustard seeds? Now the beauty of having mustard seed in abundance is you can make mustard. You just got to crush the seed up. So clearly we have the ability to uh, harvest lots of seeds here. that down real quick. Now we've just up our ante. <laughs> that is a lot of seeds right there. So easy to harvest any brassica, just like I just showed you. Wait till they turn brown, shake them down. Got some nice lettuces popping for fall here, and a pea shoot here. Mm. Mm. But let's talk about Jerusalem artichokes. This is one of many areas of Jerusalem artichokes we have. In some of the areas, there are so many Jerusalem artichokes that the ground has risen. But these babies are easy to harvest, and you, you want to harvest them as you eat them. So there, I'll just pull up some. Some pretty nice ones in there. And you can eat these babies raw. They taste a little bit like a water chestnut. Uh, I was passing them around yesterday. You can peel them a little bit and mash them like potatoes. You can fry them and use them in stir fries or it's up to you. They don't store very long, so once you harvest a bunch like this, you'd want to go ahead and eat them. Like tonight. They'll store in the fridge for a bit. But you could also uh, overwinter them and then replant them somewhere in the spring if you wanted. 
ours overwinter in the dirt. I came out here in the spring and I looked around and I thought they were all gone. And I thought that our Jerusalem artichoke bed was over and had died, but no, it's loaded. And everywhere on the property that I planted it, it's coming back up. So really good survival food. Planted some late season uh, arugula four weeks ago. Already got one harvest. A couple more are going to be out of here. Mm. Planted some other heirloom um, Asian greens here. I, I forget what the name is. But we're going to be using these in salads too. Mm. Nice little mustard coming up and a whorehound. And some potatoes. Still need to be harvested. Hello. Hope you got something out of the video. Beautiful time of year. Get out, get some dirt under your fingers, breathe some air. Subscribe to the channel. Share this with like-minded people. Plant a seed. Eat nutrient-dense foods and be healthy. We love you.